All right, so this is our bromine here. Uh, it looks very good, but it could be a lot better. Got all these droplets of water around the side and that sort of thing. And the plan is to ampule this, so obviously we want it to look as nice as possible before we put it in the ampule. So I'm just gonna go ahead and re-dry it with some sulfuric acid. I did it last time, but obviously I didn't do it that well. It's cooling it down in some ice because um, <laughs> It's always a good idea before adding sulfuric acid to things that you cool them down, especially if you think it's got a bit of water in it. going to sacrifice a little bit at the bottom here just to make sure this um, you know section of the set funnel is all clean and everything like that Alright, so here's my ampule. I actually haven't ampuled anything before, so I don't even know if this torch can do it, to be honest. But hopefully, I think it can, and hopefully <laughs> I don't make a real meal of it. Not really going to be so much a tutorial because I'm uh, not an expert in this subject, so <laughs> I'll try not to give out any advice. Uh, but hopefully I don't cock everything up. Here's the ampule. It's really not a great job. Um, <laughs> it's good enough, right? Like this, this bit shouldn't really be here because it's, uh, it's easy to break that bit off. And also this Roman gets stuck up there, which is interesting and kind of bad, but I didn't actually show you the, uh, the dry bromine before, but if we look at it now, now that we've properly dried it, you can see it really doesn't stick to the glass at all. There's no interaction there. It's just just vapor and, and liquid. There's no droplets or anything. And the same is, is in here, you know, it's just, it's really nice.
All right, and these are our two final ampules. So we've got 11.3 grams of bromine in here, and we've got 12.1 grams of bromine in here. Just a couple of grams left in this flask because I might be wanting to use it sort of soonish, and I don't want to just put it in an ampule and break it later. And it, it's seeming like it's it's being stored all right here in this uh, ground glass joint container, at least kind of semi-temporarily. Just wanted to finish by uh, showing off a really cool optical property of bromine. Um, so bromine is obviously uh, very opaque in the uh, visible light spectrum, but in the infrared, quite transparent. And this comes from this, I've totally stolen this idea, completely from a channel called Random Experiments International. Always great, great videos, so go check out his channel. And I just saw this on his video and I had to do it myself because I thought this is really cool. What you need is a camera with a night mode, and uh, I don't have a camera that has a night mode on it, except this. My parents paid a lot of money for it uh, 20 years ago, but um, it's now so old that I can't actually really get the files off it because it uses the FireWire port. Uh, computers don't have FireWire ports, and the software is, you know, to get it off the cassette that it records into. Ridiculous. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to film this camera looking at it, rather than just copying the footage from this camera, but... So the night mode uses the infrared light here at the front of the camera to um, you know, light up a space and then uses the camera sensor to detect the infrared light. So you can't see the light, but the camera can, and then it projects it into black and white so you can see it in the actual footage. So there's our two uh, bromine ampules in the visible, and then we switch over to night mode. And we see that they've become transparent, so now the camera can actually see through the vials. And I think that's really cool. If you want to see a better video of this uh, being demonstrated, you can switch over to a Random Experiment International channel, but it's really quite creepy to do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and you can definitely critique my ampulling, and if you've got any advice on how to do it better, um, <laughs> I'm always keen to listen to that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.